Welcome to another Linux Hub Distro Overview. Today, we will be taking a look at Ubuntu Budgie 22.10. Ubuntu Budgie is an Ubuntu-based distribution featuring the Budgie desktop, originally developed by the Solus project. Written from scratch and integrating tightly with the GNOME stack, Budgie focuses on simplicity and elegance, while also offering useful features, such as the Raven Notification and Customization Center. Ubuntu Budgie uses the standard Ubiquity Linux installer. Just enter your required information, set up your user account, and let the installer do all the work. A typical install usually takes less than 5 minutes. On your first boot up you are greeted by the Budgie Welcome Center. On a fresh installation, it's always good to update your system. Most Linux distros will have this set up to auto-notify you. The icon on the top left of the panel is your menu. Here you will find all of your applications and tools that are installed on your system. Thumb is a lightweight image viewer mainly used on Ubuntu based systems. The Firefox web browser is another widely used browser on a wide range of Linux distros.
Transmission is a BitTorrent client which features a variety of user interfaces on top of a cross-platform backend. LibreOffice is another widely used MS document viewer and editor. Lollipop is a simple audio player used to manage your audio and playlists on most Ubuntu-based systems. Parole is a video player used on most Linux systems. Budgie Desktop Settings is where you can change system settings like themes, fonts, and other items. To change your desktop background on Ubuntu Budgie, you left click on your desktop. A menu will show with the option to change the desktop background. Magnus is a desktop magnifier. You can use it to zoom in on small objects anywhere on your desktop. The GNOME App Store is a package manager for the GNOME desktop. It can be a bit slow on first use. As you will see here. It's sometimes just easier to open a terminal and install software with apt. Tilex is a terminal emulator. Let's use it to install NeoFetch and HTOP since the GNOME App Store was slow.
Let's check out the system trade before we end this overview. It has items like internet connection options, time, calendars, and other system tools. Thanks for watching this overview of Ubuntu Budgie 22.10. Like, share, and subscribe for more Linux overviews. See you on the next one. Later.